welcome to your Yu-Gi-Oh channel, the only Yu-Gi-Oh channel you need. And guess what? I have no pants on. Yeah. I'm free balling, son. I'm free balling. I'm joking. I'm joking. I just don't get it. I'm going to dark hole one monster on your side of the field, first turn, and waste a perfectly beautiful card for no reason. And that's basically the summary of today's video. There are cards in this game that are very precious. I'm not talking about rarity of the card. I'm talking about they are special because they're limited to one or two or even if it's at three and it's just so good that you just cannot waste it. There are Yu-Gi-Oh players who waste their resources or waste their good cards on cards that aren't worth the light of day. I'm basically saying you want to get more bang for your buck. You ever hear that when you spend your money? Would you rather spend $500 on something that's not going to work well or $500 on something that's going to work ex extremely well? Extremely well is what I would want to do. And you take that theory for cards. You have a torrential? They have a monster on the field that's not worth torrentialing and you can just run it over next time? Save that torrential for when he's about to summon three monsters or two monsters. That's the point. If you want to win, if you want to get better, if you want to increase your winning percentage or whatever, how you want to say it, using cards at the right time will help you do, do that. Now, it comes with experience. And you can see a good player versus a bad player or a mid-end player. I would say I'm a mid-end player. I don't really care what you think or how I am. I just play to have fun. If I see these players who are not very good. Oh, compose that. Why did you compose that? You ever watch someone duel? You're like, why did he just do that? And really had no reason to do it. Why didn't he wait till he exceeds something before he compose? Now the guy has a monster on the field. If he would have overlaid and compulsed, he would have got rid of those two monsters or how many monsters it took to make that exceed monster. You get my point? You get more for your cards if you use it at the right time. It's all about calculating, deciding when, the right time. And that's through experience. I can't just say, hey, at this particular time you should do this. You learn it through experience. So play test. When you go on DN, don't do a single matches. Do a whole match. Start using the whole match ranking system. That will get you better. You, and as you increase your ranking, you'll do more, more people who are better. So, thanks for watching. Your Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, and I end my turn. Go!